Uh, so before I go ahead and get started, I'd like to say that I wanted to post this video two days ago. Uh, or maybe one day ago, I don't know. No, two days ago, definitely two days ago. Uh, but I got caught up with a project. Uh, and it's, it's an intense amount of menial labor. Uh, or hard labor, I suppose. So, uh, here's the video. I'm sorry it came late. Uh, thank you for watching. This video was filmed in front of the IRS Tax Fraud Division at my Twitch. Uh, it's my Twitch. You figure it out. Thank you for watching. Alright, so today, uh, I just wanted to do this real quick for the exact reason of I made a video on a guide about this and I was like, hey, I should probably do this. The IRS Tax Fraud Division says hello. Uh, so I just wanted to do a, basically an entire unedited footage of just this crystal, and I decided to stream it live, uh, out of boredom. And I'm making sure that all my shit's empty because I don't want to throw... It is soul flamed because... reasons. Alright, let's go. Oh shit, okay, wow. Uh, personal space, safe zone, lucky. Uh, I don't... it gets better than that, but not by much. Wow, I can immediately take a uh, gilded chest and a lot of them. Uh, this could plunge this run into the rafters. Do I wanna? Here, let's take a gamble. Don't try this at home, kids. And then I do wanna decided to pop in. Thank you, I don't know. North. Oh, I scrolled the wrong way. So I have lots of time to loot all this stuff. It's a B room. One thing I would actually suggest about these... B that's a lot of gilded chests, Jesus. One thing I would suggest about the B room... Sorry for that noise. Is mine the honey. Uh, it's just like a lot of honey. So yeah, just do it. Why are there no mobs? I'm like not necessarily complaining. It is personal space, but like there is a severe lack of mobs. Am I just constantly used to Valaro deciding that I need to have mobs in my life? Probably so. Uh what this build is currently oh there's mobs, okay. Uh I'm gonna go ahead. Well, there's no difference, so I'll just go ahead and go west. Is, uh, I'm running a, this should be a Rush 2 Paxel with Efficiency 5. And then I have Haste... I have Haste 3 here. So technically I have Haste 5 with this west. I have Haste 5 with this, and I believe Haste 4... Um, allows you to do this, uh, the insta mine of the chest. It's just I like to mine wooden chest faster as well. I did a bolt earlier. Um, I know I'm actually missing some chest in there. Let me go back. Let's see. Yep. Let's see, let's see. Do I have I do. That bee just give me soul shards? That's fucking hilarious. I didn't even know that that was a thing. So I did take loot early on, and that's because I did have safe zone lucky. Um if this was any <coughs> any other type of bolt, uh, I would have not taken the time sword gilded chest. It is a long time, and it's usually not worth it. I do need to be careful. I'm gonna leave. I might loot just this golden chest or gilded and then move on. Alright. Alright. Now we move on. We focus on lowering the volt lock time. Uh, perfect! Crowded times four. That's exactly what I need. Okay, yeah, that's, that's actually perfect. That's gonna put my volt lock time uh, at exactly zero. And that means that I just won't have to worry. I can. I was basically what that means is I got lucky and now I'm not getting punished for being greedy. This is huge. 
Also, it means there's going to be a lot of mobs, so I need to be careful. Especially since I don't have a regen. Uh, there it is. I could take graveyard, spider nest. Um, graveyard isn't very good. Neither is spider nest, so I'm just going to go ahead and go east. Uh, something I will show, and I probably should uh, show right now, is that if you don't pick something, there's actually two major important things. Uh, you can do this Volt Co-op. I did not mention that in the video. Uh, I should have mentioned that. I feel bad, but you can do this Volt Co-op, and both people can vote. Uh, <clears throat> another thing... I'm taking Ancient Temple. <coughs> another thing is that uh, if you don't vote... It will just pick a random room. Uh, I, I wanted to do it this round, but also I really, really love Ancient Temple, so I'm just not going to let that pass up. If you don't vote, it'll just pick a random room. Uh, let's see, what else? I know I missed something important. Oh, if your room doesn't have a way out, uh, because this vault does have a shape, believe it or not. If your room does not have a way out... It will appear with the red mist that you might find whenever you have the vault locked, or not locked, whenever the timer is not filled up, right? Alright, end it. I know this sounds a little bit confusing, but we might run into it. Basically, it's... You have to be wary of where you go as well. Like, you don't, you don't want to run into the same path that you were just going on. Like, you don't want to make a circle, because you can't connect paths. Uh, also, uh, as IRS Tax Fraud Division pointed out, thank you, IRS Tax Fraud, if the votes are tied, um, it will also not work. Uh, I might take Aquarium here. Should I take Aquarium here? It's 10 seconds. Nah, I'll just go ahead and take the lakes. Did I just drop my sword? Okay. Eternals. Um... There you go. Much better. So let's go north now. Oh, and for this room in particular, it's down here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just show you. I'm going to let it run out. I'm not going to vote. I would usually take Cherry Blossom here because that has the most, uh, not the most, the highest density of wooden chest, but I don't really care. I'd rather give an example. Uh, and my intention of this vault, or uh, this video in particular, is I'm going to be showing you uh, the end of the vault itself, so you can get a good example of like how to get there. Not necessarily how to get there. So you, as you saw, it just picked caverns by random. I didn't vote for caverns. I probably would not have voted for caverns. Uh, so I'm going to take north here. If I can type. The reason why I'm taking north here is because uh, I am a sucker for soul shards. And Volt, or uh, Crowded Times 4 is just a lot of soul shards. And also goblins. <coughs> if one will spawn, but I don't think one will. Let's see. Wow, east is okay, but I uh, will take east. There's a Vex around here, I hear it. It's loud, I'm sorry, deal with it. Uh, does the extra minus 60 extra vote lock? Uh, no, it does not. It does not stack. That is very important. You cannot get minus time. You can only get... Here, let me explain this where it's not so loud. I need to go this way. A lot of zombies just turn into drowns. <clears throat> you cannot get minus volt lock time. You cannot go into the negatives. It will always remain at a bare minimum of zero. I'm taking north. I'm down here. Um, I need to remember north. Let me mine this room, and then... Let's see... North. North. 
Wait, did I just come from this room? No, I didn't. Wait, what option did I pick? Am I going inside? Oh, okay, whatever. Uh... I actually can't remember what option I just picked whenever I was saying I need to pick north. I just remembered that I needed to go north. I can't even remember. I feel like a fucking idiot. What? <laughs> ah, whatever. I'm... Ancient Temple is good. I like Ancient Temple. Lots of chest density. Uh, City Streets is okay. I guess I'll go there again. Come on. Okay, waterfall, waterfall spawned bullshit this time. North again. Waterfall can spawn chest like this. Just like to usually do that. Um, I'll go ahead and take graveyard. The amount of gilded, the amount of gilded chest you get is nothing to scoff at. It's just not amazing. Up oh, here we go. North again. I might hit a volt wall. If I go north enough, I actually probably will hit the wall. So I could properly show you what this looks like. Uh, shit. Actually, do I wanna? Let's see. Um, I might go... Caverns is bad. I got, I'll, I'll, I'll reduce my time a little bit. I'll go east. Village roofs can sometimes be good, and my modifiers... Yeah, yeah, village room will be good. Eat a gapple. Oh, and if you are wondering how I'm able to instantaneously eat food, it's by an item from... Uh... I forget what the hell it's called, but it is a mod. Uh, ooh. And you can eat instantly eat food, it's called a gluttony charm. Oh, okay. Pays off. Uh, there we go. So I'm gonna go south. Okay. You gotta be careful not to mine the wall, as I literally just did twice, three times. Uh, I believe it was south, right? And it's a pirate cove. Uh, I think I'd rather take south here because I like random. Dark Utilities is a mod for gluttony charm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how much that costs usually. Uh, without decoration mods, but yeah, dark utilities. I think dark. I think the only other thing uh, from dark utilities that's actually important is the experience thing. But even that is mitigatable. South. Catter. Uh, for this, I think I just took random. So actually, you know, what I'm gonna show you. You can. You don't have to go over there if you're like, I don't fucking care. You can click this. Okay. Oh no, I gotta wait for the bolt lock time. <laughs> I was about to say. I guess there's no other way. Let's see. Oh, I guess there really isn't another way. I could go back a room, but I'll just go ahead and go to the caverns up ahead. And maybe it'll push me back again. No, it won't. Ooh, Crowded Times 2 is probably better than Pixel Art here. Although I am close to completing it. Uh, I'll look for something better. I don't think Pixel Art is amazing. I might have some stuff that I want, like Catalyst, but, eh. There's a small chance of that. Uh -huh. 
So as you can see in the bottom left, uh, that bar, it's moved up quite a bit. And I'll probably count and I'll put in the description how many rooms it took. I, I don't know if it's static, the amount of rooms it takes. I'm going east. Um, I want to say it is, <clears throat> but I don't think it is, all things considered. I might be wrong, though, so... Dragon room, awesome. Okay. Oh, of course, I missed. I'm just amazing. Okay, I'm down here now. Whatever. I could go crowded times four. I could go end room. I could go mega tree. Um. I'm a sucker for soul shards. What can I say? Eternal move! Okay, thank you. Uh, something that you can do is that you can mine the ground, and I'll just show it since, whatever. Uh, and there's like chests on the ground. Those are good. Um, I would generally say that it's not worth it though. Like, it's cool that that's a thing, but it's not worth it. Let me see. I came from there, I need to go there. I just want to get all this chest. Oh, whoops. I accidentally summoned my Eternals. Mine these four. Go down. I don't care about the guild chest to the left. Oh, wrong. Thank you. Hello, crowded times four village room. Uh... Random is cool, prismatic is okay. I'll go random. I don't really care for crystal caves. And this is gonna be a controversial opinion, but I think crystal caves is probably like the worst out of all the fucking mine rooms. Or mining rooms. I don't know why. East, crowded. Okay, that was substantially not worth it. Oh, goblin. Um. Oh, shit. Thank you, Eternal. Uh, Crowded is the best one to take here. <coughs> I can't believe I didn't mention this. I don't think I have. Whenever you take something that doesn't have a specific room name, the room is random. You can roll Omega rooms on shit like Crowded. If it does not say the room name, the room is always random. For instance, I just I just rolled mushroom. Did I? Oh, I guess I typed the wrong thing in, or maybe I didn't type it in at all. Oh, maybe I'm trolling. Ooh, east is a really good one. But since I'm okay on time, I'm gonna go ahead and go south. Out of all the additive time ones, east is the best. A 5 second vote lock time you can easily get rid of and 30 seconds might save your life. That's the way I see it. I just picked that up. My picker ring didn't even pick it up. I just suck at aiming. Hello. Uh, you know what? I have so much time. I'm taking south. I think that's funny. I like loot. And the thing is, like, this is extremely random. Uh, so it's just important to have, like, use your brain for this. I know that's toxic as fuck, but, like, make sure you, you have proper context for what you're doing. Is if you're just miscellaneously picking shit, either you're not going to get good loot, or you're going to kill yourself. And you have to make sure that you don't do either, because this needs to be worth it. Because, uh, once you start doing these, they can get kind of expensive in crafting recipes. The seals cost an entire crystal, which is the most expensive in the cra uh, thing in the crafting recipe by far. Since it costs so many resources and a volt rock. The vault rocks aren't that hard to find. 
Anyways, uh, as you can see in the bottom left, uh, the bar is complete. So you're about to, oh, you're about to see that the, it's going to give me an option. Uh, in one of the directions, it's going to say exit bolt. Uh, I won't be picking it, because you don't have to pick it, usually. Let's see. See, uh, east, it says exit bolt. I'm not going to pick it. I don't need to. I want to like to loot more, so I'm going to go ahead and go west. Uh, if you do want to just exit the bolt because you're having a bad time, honestly, it's up to you. As I said, it requires a lot of context. Or, uh, what is it? I guess it's contextual, not just context. I don't know. You, you guys know what I mean. Uh, actually, I'll go back here and see if I missed anything. Oh, sure did. Other thing is, make sure you know when to bail. Uh, like, if you, let's say, if you're like halfway done, and there's like 10 minutes left, I'm gonna be honest with you, you're probably not completing the vault. Uh, I have a story about this. So me and my friend who, uh, we were on this server, uh, we did an architect vault together, and we got about three... Uh, more like, I'd say, like, I know this is a weird ratio, but like five-eighths of the way done. And we are like, okay, we need to leave because we only had, uh, we had, like, a high volt lock time. I think it was, like, literally two minutes, which sounds fucking hilarious in my mind. But we had a high volt lock time, and we're like, okay, we need to leave. So we started leaving, and we couldn't get back in time. We died. Uh, we did soul flame it, so I was like, oh yeah, it's fine, but like, we died. And we lost all the loot that we had gotten. Uh, do not underestimate how big the vault is. And how fast your character is. Or how well you're maneuvering, or whatever. Just various things. Because it will catch up to you and you will die. It's surprisingly big. I'll just say, like, since then... At least in Arctic Vault, I have not made the mistake of dying to the Volt Timer. Whether that be by eating Volt Fruit, but knowing I was going to eat Volt Fruit. That usually that involves me committing. Rarely am I so desperate in which I need to eat Volt Fruit to get out of a Volt. That's a fucking frightening situation. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the south. Since the other options aren't appealing. Still got 7 minutes, uh, 45 seconds left. Do I have any vote fruit in here? I do not! Ooh, I need to change that. Probably put whatever QEs I have left in the system. Uh, up here. I have lots of time, so I can take my time. I'll go ahead and check Burb. Um... Dumb bird. Okay. Safe zone is so awesome. It's just free loot. Oh, I didn't know there's a chest under there. More you know. I think there's chest in no there's not. It's mob spawners. Why is it always mob spawners? Why must you do me like that? <coughs> I think... Ooh, I'll go ahead and go east. Okay, damn. There's raining mobs over there. I hate this room. I might take that altar. How much time does it take? Three minutes? I might take that actually. Speed this up a little bit.
you can get very unique rooms, so it, so it's best to make the uh, the most out of your time in these vaults. Also, random is super fun to take. I've gotten treasure rooms from random. It's it's so funny. Oh, actually, you know what I have mentioned? Uh, in the center of this room, very rarely, like one in whatever thousand, a pillager outpost can spawn. Did you know that the pillagers in those outposts have crossbows? And did you know that those crossbows do a lot of damage? And additionally, upon having to doing a lot of damage, they also have like fucking 250 health. At least on my level. I didn't have any difficulty modifiers. It was weird. They had, they had an obscene amount of health. Oh, okay, here's a perfect example. So, as you can see, it won't let me pass on through here. Even though I just went into this room for the first time. So what you have to do is that you have to go back. You can go back to this room and... Oh, it let me. Uh, now for the sake, I'll just go ahead and I'll exit and I'll do this altar. A banner soul ain't bad. Although it is just a common altar. Hmm. Go ahead and exit now. And upon exiting, you can see here we are. And I have a room that's pretty much identical. Uh, as you can see, there's no altar, there's just a portal. And <coughs> uh, creepers can blow this up, so just make sure you go through it. And you can see down here successfully escape from the vault, finish building a vault. And then, if you want to, you can jump down into forbidden grape juice. Anyways, that's essentially the vault. I'm gonna go ahead and let me just look at all the loot now. Uh, let me see. Let's look at this stuff first. I think... Oh shit, I got an ancient seal from that goblin. I thought I did. I didn't want to say it when I got it, but I was like, I thought I did. also got a star core. That's good. Uh, also, lots of various volt gear. Um, I guess the volt gear that you get from that thing doesn't stack inside of the wisdom teeth. Or not the wisdom teeth. These. 16 trader cores. That's nice. Uh, 1,000 soul shards. Thank you, Idana. I got a key piece. Four echoes. Various stuff. Cat frags. Skill shards. Volt diamonds. 70 volt nuggets. That's a lot. I don't think I'm getting hardy apples anymore. Hmm. And there's nothing in there of importance. Now let's go ahead and let's do a mini... Oh, not you. Rank. Let's do a mini one of these. Little soul shard opening. Uh, I find it hilarious that your Paxel doesn't even look like it was even moving. Uh, yeah, no. It's, that's what Haste 5 is. I think it's also funny. That's goaded. That's not even good. That's cool. For reference repair core, let's see. This costs two repair cores and a Red Bull Essence. This the one repair core cost a Pog and an Echo Gem and also a Volt Essence. Lots of Volt Essence. Like I actually care more about the fact that it costs Volt Essence than it does Echo, which is kind of embarrassing. Uh, I don't think I got. Oh, I forgot to clear up my backpack. I didn't really mind any ores anyways though, so it should be fun. Alright, well, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I can't really think of anything else. I'll timestamp uh, every single important part of the video regarding uh, shit that I missed in the first video uh, to the description or whatever if you're just watching the end. Uh, like, hey, what the hell's going on, sound? So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. And I hope that uh, afternoon or, yeah, outro, who cares.